Good morning everyone, Matt Murphy here from Zorbit's Math Adventure with another home learning tip. As you can see, my home office has become a little bit more colorful as we're developing these videos for you. We're also starting uh, production on some fun videos for the kids to watch at home, some interactive math lessons that they can watch. We've also given you a few tips on how to use the assignments feature to guide their in-game experience so as they're playing the game at home uh, you can kind of stay in in control in terms of what activities they see what math concepts they focus on uh, as well as starting to collect some of that performance data as a result of it but this week I want to focus on some offline activities some activities that will get them out of their seats and get them moving in their home before we do I do want to just say that these are not things you need to be doing these are things you can be doing to support home learning if you have families uh, of, of your students that are eager to keep the math learning going at home these are very challenging times and top priority should be making sure that our kids are safe happy and healthy that being said, if you are interested in, in providing some extra supports to support that math learning at home, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. As always, we're here in our teacher dashboard at dashboard.zorbitsmath.com, and I'm going to dive into the class progress area here. This is where I'm going to see all of the performance data collected from the student's in-game experience. At a glance, I can see a couple of different trends. Specifically here, if I look vertically, I can see a lot of students have been playing some of the counting groups games. I'm going to click on this red dot because it looks like Anna is struggling a little bit. So let's see specifically what the problem might be. So I'm going to click on this link and it's going to bring me to the teaching activities library. I can see that some of the filters are already pre-populated, which gives me a filtered list of recommendations of activities that I can send home. Now, some of these are designed for classroom use, like the number talks, for example, or the math talks. But there's also a list of games within this list and some exploratory activities. One of my favorites is in this list right now, addition on a number line. When I click on that, I can download this PDF, which has directions, some key questions for them to ask while they're playing, some supporting recommendations, as well as some extensions and variations. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I took this activity and kind of spun it with a bit of an Easter flavor, uh, because at the time of the filming of this video, uh, it is just, a, just before Easter, so we took inspiration from this activity and uh, made our own sort of uh, bunny hop on a number line activity uh, and they both absolutely loved it and what's happening is that they're learning about number recognition they're learning about counting on they're learning about addition but they're doing it in a very playful and in a very kinesthetic fashion so that's what all of these activities are designed to do they're meant to be very playful as you go through these and explore some of these activities you'll notice that none of them are worksheets many of them are lesson plans that are meant to be very playful and very exploratory so as you can see there's a number of different ways that we can help support home learning we can create those assignments which will deliver custom in-game missions for the students that are focused on specific math concepts but we can also download some of those teaching activities from the teaching activities library and email them home to parents for some offline playful learning as well I also want to reiterate that these are not things you need to be doing. These are things that you can do if you want to support families that are eager to keep the math learning going. The most important thing right now is for all of us to stay safe, stay healthy, and to keep our kids happy. It's a very challenging time, and we certainly want to make sure that we're doing the best for our kids and for our families. If you have any ideas or any questions, please follow us on social media on Twitter, at Zorbit's Math or email us at support at zorbitsmath.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again next week with another home learning tip. All right, Taylor, what did you roll? I, I rolled a one. You rolled a one. Oh, I got the pen cap in my mouth here. I, you I, rolled a one, so move one space. I rolled a one. What? It was up to one. You got the one. Yeah. All right, Tegan, your turn. So you could use anything. We just bought some buddy for twins scissors. That's absolutely right. And you know what? We used uh, buddy, the buddy, buddy, sticky buddy, notes buddy. so that we can replace them. If we didn't want to use numbers, we could use like the dots, or we could use 10 frames, or tally marks, whatever we want to use, right? So we could, if you don't have anything like this, you could eat, we just get 12 pieces of paper. 
That's right. That's right. But you want to make those as stable? Right. You don't want to slip on them. We got some poster putty keeping yeah. them onto the floor, right? And um, we're making pretend dice, so this is mine. That's right. It's My arts sister. and craft hour as well. So My Taylor... sister made me do it, which is very small amount. <laughs> she wanted one too. Yeah. All right. So Taylor is on one. Tegan, do you want to go next? Okay, so All right. can I roll almost my... No, there's no, there's no dots on that one yet. All right, roll your dice. Oh. What'd you get? Whoa, oh, it went right up, the, right up the hallway. What'd you get? Uh, three. Looks like a three. So Tegan, roll the three. Well, Move three spaces, well, little miss. Taylor was just spending for so long. Okay, so one, two, see, three. I'm Taylor, on three. you're on number one and it's your turn. She's finishing it. You go ahead and take your turn while she's finishing it. I feel like I'm going to make it up to Taylor's You think so? With three yeah. dice rolls? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Where'd Taylor go? Whoa, she hit my foot. What'd you get? One, two, three. Five. Five. So move five spaces. You were already on one. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Five. What number are you on, Taylor? No, she started on one. She started on one. So she moved five spaces, which means she should be on space what? Five. five. But she started on one. So six. Six, which is where exactly where she is. All right, Tegan, your turn. Oh my God. Go ahead. I have to roll this one hand here because. Because you're still forming that other dice, yeah. aren't you? That's fine. Yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get? What's it gonna be? Six. So move six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number are you on? I'm on nine. Nine. All right. So Tegan, you're or Taylor, you're on number six. You got one more dice roll. Let's see it. Come back to number six. I'm two ahead of Taylor, so. Are you friends? Two? Are you two ahead? Ten Well, there's two in between, but you count the one that you're on or the one she's on. So one, two, three spaces. Oh no, four, because one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess it all depends on how you're counting, right? Mm -hmm. So two. There's three, two four. there's two in between us. So like two it could be two, three, or four. Right, and I would need to take three spaces to get to where you are. You need to get three steps in here. Right, and if I'm counting the one I'm on, it's four. Alright, Taylor. Not yet. Come back and take one more dice roll, Taylor. Come back to number six. Roll your dice. Go ahead. Give it a good chuck. Bounce back a bit. One number? Five. Five. All right, Taylor, come back here to number six. And we're going to take five steps. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. What number are you on? Eleven. Number so eleven. Next. And Tegan, your turn. I I just need two more and What'd you get? Oh, went into your room. What did what'd you get? Um, two. 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 All right. One, two. What number are you on? Eleven. On eleven. All right. So let's all come back to the scoreboard. You're on number eleven. Taylor ended up on number eleven. So that means one. Plus five, plus five. Cause ten plus one is that looks like an odd. It does look like an odd. So um, ten plus one, ten plus one is eleven, and then five plus five is ten. Right. Excellent job. We're almost finished, Taylor. We're gonna add your numbers up together. Six plus three is nine. So. 9, 10, 11. Right, so these two make 9, and then you add two more, and that makes 11. 11. Excellent job. Can I have a high five? Oh, she stole the marker out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, say goodbye. 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 goodbye.